Ah, just washing my baby. Yeah, I would like flip out if anything ever happened to this truck. See, I'm done doing crazy stuff because uh, I realized what what happens to vehicles when you're like so hard on them, and it just it's it's really sad seeing stuff get run into the ground when people abuse it and and do crazy stuff with it. So honestly, like I just want something that's daily drivable and reliable for me, my family. We go on road trips a lot, and so uh, yeah, just gonna keep this one nice. So what we're gonna do today is a body lift but just the bed about eight feet and we're gonna throw these three foot wide monster truck tires and 37 inch wheel spacers on it. So Carl's frame has been sitting here for a little while. Um, just the motors kind of hanging here. Uh, we ripped the, the body off with the backhoe, completely just shredded everything on it. Uh, so this is all that's left pretty much. We saved his keys, they'll be on the website if you want them. Uh, the, the keys to the, the one and only original Carl. So uh, we're gonna pull these tires off. Look how bad Carl's freaking hub is. I was getting a lot of crap about my Jenga block setups. A lot of people are thinking it was dangerous because I can't afford jack stands. It's really upsetting that people would say something like that because I'm All right, well, it's bedtime. Where's Nick? Oh, look. What? Wake up! Time to take the bed off, not go to bed. He said bedtime. I'm just really glad that we're taking this bed off because this gives me a great opportunity to restore the frame and get any rust off that might have occurred. And uh, you know, while the bed's off, we can we can have fun while it's off and put, put it back on some other time. Oh. <laughs> So we have the bed and the wheels and the exhaust tip all mounted up and uh, I think we're ready to go. So let's check it out here. Um, everyone's scared to ride in the bed, although we did take precautions to make sure it's a sturdy fixture. But uh, anyways, the tires are mounted on real nice. We painted the frame here because we really want to take care of this truck, so we're trying to prevent rust all we can. see we're loaded up and ready to go right into this mud pit but uh that wouldn't be any fun because the front end would sink about 18 feet and the rear would stay above the water so uh, before we do that we're gonna go across the uh, swamp down there we got about three feet of water standing so we could, should be able to rip right through that my bed is quite unstable I can hear the bed hitting the back of the cab Okay.
I thought was gonna happen. Oh my god. <laughs> we didn't scratch it, did we? Oh, <laughs> it totally like it pulled that into the tire. It's all it's all chopped up here. Just don't make stuff like they used to. You know where I can get like replacement tail lights or Alrighty, well, we encountered some problems there. As you can see, we lost the bed. Um, yeah, uh, there's mud inside of the truck in like everywhere, uh, inside the, the door switches and, and the everything. But I guess um, we we took some damage this time. So, but but that's the goal. I mean, we're gonna make this one nice. So it was it was good that we got a chance to take the bed off because we could restore it under there. So that's that's why we took this one off. Uh, just so you know, we could get to that frame and, and paint it to, to keep the, the salt and stuff off of it. So, uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night. One last thing I'd also like to attribute this truck's great success in the mud to these uh, 24 by 14 wheels and uh, Lexani tires. They did great. They really helped to pull me right through. If it wasn't for these, I, I wouldn't have gotten through that. I wouldn't have made it back. So uh, I just I just really wanted to thank Lexani for making these mud tires. Mud on your truck isn't good. You don't want mud or anything like that. So you just want to get it off of there. And uh, I just, I love washing my truck so much, honestly. Like I don't, I would never take it through an actual car wash because I don't want to like mess it up or anything. Uh, because like the, the fins on those things can scratch your truck up. Uh, it's like sand tape on it. So uh, I like to wash it myself. And it kind of just keeps the, uh, ring that out here. Keeps the, the paint looking good. 